Well, here we go. Today is the day that we're going to do our forgiveness work. Very soon, it's going to be 2014. And this is an important day for you to be able to move into 2014 with a clean slate. So we've been working on preparing our consciousness and ourselves, our own personal I am presence, to move into 2014 with a clean slate. Now we've done everything up till now to prepare ourselves, except the major step that you're going to take today, which is forgiveness. We are going to do the forgiveness work so that we can move into 2014 clean and free. And so, now that you have looked at the difficulties and disappointments that you had last week, we are now moving into this important time when you do your forgiveness work. Forgiveness is a gift that you give yourself. Forgiveness is an opportunity to erase a lot of things that maybe came up this year. And you need to release, forgive, and let go. Forgiveness is more about us than it is about anyone else. But being able to forgive somebody else is an important step for forgiving your own self. As I worked on forgiveness, and I have for many, many years now, I have found that some of the forgivenesses I've had to do were connected to other lifetimes that I was actually forgiving myself this lifetime for something that was created maybe many other lifetimes ago that I hadn't forgiven myself for. That may sound a little strange to you because we've had so many lifetimes, we've had so many times that we've evolved, and this is the time that your soul has decided that it wants to make a huge contribution to its own spiritual growth. It is now evolving into looking at the things that have kept the soul on the planet over and over and over again for lack of forgiveness. And forgiveness is a energy that you give to, to the other person or yourself. And when I started to realize that the greatest thing I could do for myself was to forgive me because I could make a long laundry list of all the things that I wish I could have done or could have maybe done or, or thought about doing but didn't do. My soul has had many, 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 many incarnations. And I know that I left the planet with unforgiveness in other lifetimes for myself and for others also, which did nothing more but create another lifetime for me to do the forgiveness work. So if you know that you are doing this forgiveness work to free your soul, to erase old thought forms, old karma, old energy, that's kept you stuck on this planet over and over and over again. Hopefully, hopefully, you will come to that point within that you say, it's time. It's time for me to do that which is in the best interest of my soul, which God help me to write down everything that I don't forgive about myself. Let me write it down. Let me look at it. Let me be real with it. I don't want to carry this into the new year. I won't carry it into the new year. 
I refuse to carry it into the new year. You have to be that strong. I refuse to carry any old unforgivenesses into the new year. I need and must set myself free. And I will do it. You have to have that kind of determination. You have to have that kind of energy behind you. The passion to do the work to do the forgiveness work. If there's anyone in your life that you have not forgiven, even if it isn't this year, maybe 10 years ago, do your work. Let this day be the day that you free your soul from not only things that you dislike about yourself and others, but say, I don't know what all the things I need to forgive myself for, but help me. Help me to know so that I can do the work and do the freedom that needs to happen to take myself out of bondage. Bondage because you are on the law of karma. And that karmic ball goes round and round and round and round and picks up karma karma over and over again and eventually you come to the place of evolution where you say enough's enough and I hope this is the day you say enough's enough enough of this crap and I call it crap because it is you live in an illusion and you let your imagination run wild on you And you have to take those things out of the consciousness and you are responsible for doing it. You have to understand your whole self. You must understand your whole self. And it starts with forgiveness. It starts with erasing. It's, forgiveness is love. Loving yourself. Not an ego love, but loving yourself from the depth of your being and freeing yourself and letting yourself go to make better choices in the future. So do your forgiveness work. And I support you in doing so. Make your list. Make it. And then let go. Let go. And you have to ask yourself, what was and what is the hardest thing I have to forgive this year. What is it? Show it to me, God. I'm not sure. Maybe I've thrown it out the window and I haven't wanted to look at it or shoved it under the rug. Didn't want to look at it. Don't let me get away with it. Make me see what I need to see to free myself. That's the important thing here. That's the really important thing. I have to free myself and I will do it. For so long, I have just gone on year after year, year after year. Oh, poor me. Oh, this is another year. I hope it's a lot better than it was last year. Gotta stop. Gotta stop. Everything in your life is an opportunity to get to know yourself in a big way. Don't let that opportunity slip through your fingers. What is the thing that you just absolutely can't forgive yourself for? That's what I want you to deal with. Because whatever it is, it has ties to other lifetimes. It has ties to other lifetimes. So I say, get to work. Go to work. Make your list. Make your list. Very important that you make your list. What do I dislike about myself? Make that list. So get to work. And then we're going to walk into the new year with a clean slate. 
So make your list. I'm giving you a moment here. This list has to be from your heart. And it can't be just something wishy-washy. Because you're releasing yourself. You're releasing yourself. Most important work that you can do is to release yourself. And so now, we come to the big moment. The big moment is to let it all go and surrender it. Surrender it to the infinite intelligence of this planet. And even as you write what you can't forgive, surrender it. Do it hand in hand. I can't forgive X, Y, Z, and I surrender it to you, God. Help me to forgive. Help me to release. And help me to let go. I surrender. And the final step of this year is to do your surrendering. I surrender. I surrender all the good times. I surrender the hopes and dreams I had. I surrender my disappointments and difficulties. I surrender, I surrender. I let go. I let go. I surrender. Just put your hands out with me and say, I surrender. I just let go. I let go and I give all this to the universe. I want to have a clean slate as I move into this new year. And I have a, a little extra time here that I can add a few more things to my list. But on New Year's Day, I will be made anew. And on the 31st, I'm going to take my list. Sometime during the day, I'm going to take a few moments to sit quietly with myself on the 31st. And I'm going to take and I'm going to burn up everything that I journaled this last month. And I'm going to let it go. I'm going to bless it. I'm going to honor it and love it and surrender it and say, it's yours. It's yours. Set me free. Awaken me to a new year. That when I wake up, on the first, I wake up with a new heart, a new clean slate, joyfully moving forward, joyfully supporting my new self. And I will spend the time necessary to get to know my new self. A new self is emerging. Give it time to manifest in your consciousness. So the next month in January, you're going to give yourself some time to allow this new consciousness to, to become more aware to your conscious mind. What do you like? Where do you want to be? What do you want to do? You have a new program, so to speak. A clean slate. A clean slate. 
All I can say to you is Happy New Year. I look forward to seeing you next year joyfully, 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 as I support you and the new self that you are manifesting within yourself. You're doing the work. And that work is so important to your soul. Happy New Year. And thank you for loving yourself enough to give yourself the gift of a new life. <laughs>